Welcome to the How to Draw section. Watch artist Joe Spatiford draw the character Abe. Hi everybody, I'm Joe Spatiford. Welcome to another How to Draw. Today we're going to be focusing on a drawing on Abe from Abe and the Amazing Promise, which I'm hoping you saw and you liked. Uh, so as you know, he's Pog Grape and he's dressed up in Middle Eastern apparel. Apparel means clothes. So, um, all right, well let's get right to it and let's have some fun. Okay, so Pa, as you know, is a circle. He's a grape, so he'll, we'll start off just by drawing a circle. Now I'm using a purple here, just to start off, just as a base color, just to figure everything out. Now, Abraham uh, in the story has a band around his head and wears a turban. There's probably another name for it, but I'm just gonna call it a turban for now. And at the top of it, the top of the turban, just think of like a C shape, because it, it kind of has a weird fold at the top. It's kind of like a sailor's hat, an old sailor's hat at the top. Kind of swishy, you know. And then uh, we're going to make an, an S shape that's going to kind of come in and go out. So think about that being like the letter S. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And here, we're going to do another S shape. It's going to come down here and do the same over there. S. Okay, now what I'm going to do is draw the bottom of his cloak and then I'm going to imagine it going behind him. Okay, so, so now we got the, the initial drawing of just w where that turban is going to be. So from there, I'm going to just move into drawing Pa. So right, you know, you imagine the middle of him is being right here. So I'm going to block in where his nose is going to go. I'm going to block in where his glasses are. Okay. Um, from there, he's got a little dot here, like a Robert De Niro kind of little freckle, a little mole or something. Then we're going to draw his mustache. He's got a mustache that curls. So it's just, a, just another S shape. At the bottom, we'll have some zigzags. That's how we're going to draw the mustache. So just remember these S shapes and zigzags and swooshes, kind of like that. All right, now I got to draw his beard, because he has a beard, too. Um, so his beard has about three points in the middle. It kind of comes down and comes up to a few more zigzags at the top. Again, on this, on this side, draw another kind of C shape that ends in some zigzags on the top. OK, so that's going to be the basis for the beard. And then there'll be lines that are going to come down that, that show that that actually is a beard and this is a mustache. Just little tricks. And Pa, of course, has um, uh, eyebrows. Always has, always will. Even when he was a lion. Let's see, so we're gonna draw those. We're gonna draw those uh, zigzags at the top and a kind of a straight line at the bottom. And his character has on the uh, side of his turban, these lines. So right now, this, this is probably where it would be a point where I'd say, OK, now let's actually uh, block this in and you know start coloring it and start bringing out features. Oh, and one more thing. I don't know how I forgot this. Abe's got a staff, too. He's an old guy, so he's got to walk around in the desert, and so he needs a cane. So just think of it like a straight line and some kind of squiggly lines on this side, and then just put one little bump over here. OK, so now we, we've blocked it all in, and he has no mouth, so let's give him a mouth. All right, so now he's got a mouth. OK, so now we're going to just uh, start blocking in some color. Let's start with green. 
So I'm going to just start using the side. Normally I do a lot of my coloring on the computer. Now I don't want it to be totally even, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring a little bit of blue to where I think there would be a little bit of shadow happening. I'm not going to get too crazy here. But if you mix blue and green, it gets you a darker shade of green. Like I said, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm not going to shade everything for you. You can do that, though. You can push the shadows as far as you'd like. And we'll get one more pass here. Just going to push it a little darker over some of, the, some of these areas here just to bring certain things out. Okay, so now his nose is purple. So we've already got a purple color, so let's just give it a nice solid purple line around it. I'll leave some room for those glasses to pop in there. It might be a good idea to just block in those glasses right now. As you can see, I'm just pushing a little bit harder now just to block in those glasses. I just noticed I've forgotten to paint the, per or the green underneath his eye. Okay, so now that we've got that figured out, I can start putting the purple in his nose. All right, so that's his nose. All right, let's get his turban. Leave that cane he has alone. Go to the top of the head. Try to do your best to match your original drawing, but yeah, you'll make mistakes. Like I'm drawing quick here, so I'm gonna be making plenty. Then I'm gonna go in there with a um, a lighter brown because he's got kind of a an off-white turban. And as I color over things, some of these lines get hidden. My, my original tracing lines that I was trying to figure out where things go, they get hidden. So that's, that's, that can be a good thing. OK, so let's just going to put some, a little bit of color in that. All right, so now I'm going to go into his headband. Just make some S shapes, because it's made of rope. Some of those fine folks in New Zealand made a, who actually produced the model for this film, did a great job with the rope. So I got to try to do some sort of justice to their modeling abilities. And look at that, I broke my, we're gonna, I'm gonna draw just with the end of it. All right, so now that I've, Drawn it, I'm just going to use the side of the crayon to block it in. Okay, and then I am going down to the beard area, and I'm just going to use a little bit of black because it's white, you know, and it brings the, brings the white out a lot, so. Okay, and now I'm just going to color in those glasses a little bit. They're yellow, so I'm just going to push really hard. Try not to break your pencil. I'll, I guarantee you it'll happen a few times. And then I'm going to just uh, block in the cane here. So I'm just going to go real quick with that. I'm just going to just to block it in. And just to, just to pop it out in front of everything, I'm just going to make it black, the outline. Even though you can, if you have at home, if you have a darker brown, go ahead and use it. Then last, almost last but not least, I'm going to color in some of these uh, lines on his bandana here. Got that blue in there. We'll get some of that blue on the inside here. Okay, and um, 
and then you gotta draw in his mouth real quick. And then what I like to do is I like to just throw a little bit of splash of color behind him. Just to pop him out from the background of the paper. And then how I always finish it, is I sign my name. Everybody should sign their name. So Joe, then you probably, for your parents, put your name, your age down, A-G-E. And I'm, uh, I'm about to turn 31, so I'm just gonna put 31 down. Other than that, that's pretty much how I would go about drawing you know, the, this character, you can go in and throw some more yellows into things if you want to, you know, you can, you can play around with it until you're too tired and your mom and dad tell you to go to sleep. Um, but, uh, but thanks again for coming, thanks for drawing Abe with me, and uh, I hope you come back next time. We're going to have other characters to draw and more fun to have. Take care and have a good day.